some people to uh, time to log in for a second while I check my audio at the same time. I don't know why it takes so long for the stream to go all, all the way through and then come all the way back in order to check my audio. So just hold on a second. And testing, testing. Perfect. All right, audio is working. Let's make sure my live chat's up, and it is. All right, Hebrew, Hebrew fans, so let's go ahead and get started. So first off the bat, I got my Thundercats booster pack in the mail today. And uh, I was kind of excited. It's like, yes, now I can do a quick video and show you guys how to do this. So I've been kind of excited about it. So let's go ahead and open this up. And what we have here is we have um, some new armor for this guy because they forgot to paint the front part right here originally. So they got us a new one. Now it's not quite as shiny as the other one, so that's kind of interesting too. But it does look pretty cool. And the nice part is now I'll have an extra armor to use on somebody else when I make a custom. So that's kind of fun. They gave us a, a new head for this guy. And I believe his eyes are glowing is what the difference is. I have to look for my, there it is. Let's take a look and see. Oh yeah, you can see the eyes are already glowing on there, even before I turn the lights off. So definitely, this thing does have glowing eyes. Boop, you can see the black light on it when it hits it. So yeah, cool, 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 cool. Glowing eyes, burp, 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 burp. All right. Hey Matt, thanks for joining us. And then it comes with some cool guns and it comes with a loincloth that is a different color for this guy. So you can change the color to what it's supposed to be, which matches his belt instead of his pieces of here. I think it looks fine with that lighter color, but you know what? Let's go ahead and change it so you guys can see how to do it. But personally, if I was to do this, I wouldn't. I'd just leave it alone. I think the coloring is just fine, but we'll change it out. All right, so with that let's go ahead and get started i lost my screwdriver hold on a minute well you know what i'm going to first drop the figure in the hot water before i start the screwdriver so i'm going to start with the loincloth first because that is the most difficult part i mean the rest you guys can figure out it's pretty easy to swap a head and pretty easy to swap armor but the loincloth is the one that probably is the most difficult for most people so i have my vat of water over here that's heating up and um the directions actually tell you what to do. Let's take a look at the directions first. And it tells you just to uh, use a hair dryer, heat up the shorts, take a screwdriver and just do a quick little twist pop and the loincloth just pops off easily around the edge. And then you just put the next one on. All right. I know from experience that does not work. So we're gonna do it the way that I know it does work. And uh, it's a little bit more difficult than that. Um, part of the problem is these legs are so far apart right here and they're so muscular that it's really hard to get the loincloth over these legs and then over this part of the legs and the feet as well. So our first step is to pull the legs off. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me go and dunk this guy in the water so he can start heating up to get his legs. And I'll let you guys watch him while I go find my screwdriver. Let's put his hands out here so you don't get his torso too hot. So you don't want it to crack. There we go. There's a nice hot water bath for you there. Whew. The screwdriver's in horrible shape. Let me go try to find my other one that I had that I set down somewhere. thing is that it's been sitting there in the hot water which is cool but while that's sitting in the hot water let's go ahead and swap out the armor on the other guy now i found a super seven i'm gonna be a little careful as long as just pulling the head off can cause problems and cause it to crack so let's just give it a little pull to see how tight this head is oh you know what that's not too bad at all 
cool. I was afraid it'd be a little harder than that, but that was not bad. And then I'll check your guys' questions, see what you guys have coming in. And let's just change this out. Even, even this armor here, I was fine with it not being colored in front, but I guess it's supposed to. You know what? That does look better, actually. And it matches better, too. It actually matches a lot better for the coloring, being it's not so shiny. It actually looks like it's actually part of him instead of just armor on top. So that's actually better all around. Super 7, thank you. You guys did an excellent job with providing us with this new armor. That looks way better. And because it's not so shiny, it actually fits like it's part of the, like it's actually part of him instead of just being an attachment of armor. Way cool. Nice. I tell you, Super 7's getting better every time. I remember this commercial I saw years ago. It was a spoof on Saturday Night Live, and it shows this new headache pain medication. And uh, this guy's taking it, and his, his head's just hurting him. He takes it, and it keeps hurting. It says, we're trying. Eventually, we'll get it right. And then uh, the last time he tries it, his head explodes. And it says, well, we're, we're working on it. Hey, Sledge, Mast Sledge Master is in the house. Thanks for joining us, James. I appreciate it. Thunder pants, ho. Man, that is hilarious. All right, let's go ahead and see if he's hot enough yet to pull his legs off. And the part you want to get hot is right here on the thigh. It's where it connects. So that's what we're trying to warm up right there. And uh, if you just yank it off like that, you may end up ripping it apart here. So you want to take your thumb and gently push it right in here and see if you can't get it to pop off. There we go. Just like that. Now, once you have those off, it'll make it a lot easier to get that loincloth off. There we go. Now, I'm going to take his armor off, too, just so we have a more visual of what's going on here. Let me turn on my extra light. There we go. Aim this down so you guys can see what I'm doing. And now, the directions say after you heat it up, let's just heat the loincloth up a little more. Now the loincloth will heat up very quickly because it is really thin rubber. It just shows taking a screwdriver and sticking it in there and turning it sideways and it should just pop right off. I have never seen that work that way. So we'll give it a shot. I'm just actually afraid to even do it this way. This just seems ridiculous. Yeah, it's just going to end up scratching the plastic there. I'm ruining it. So the way I like to do this is put it underneath and then just pull it away from the body and you can see then how it looks and go all the way around and pull it everywhere just to make sure it's not stuck somewhere from paint that's old on there. Now we know because he used the He-Man body, this side right here is actually a bigger hole than this side. This side's actually a smaller hole. So you can see how far I gotta pull this out to get to the hole, it's a long ways. With this side, you can pull it out a little bit on the right, on his right side, and there's the hole right there. So take and rotate this either front or back, and then pull the loincloth out a little bit, so you can see that hole. Then you're gonna take your screwdriver and stick it right inside that little gap. And once you get it in there, you now have, oops, whoo, danger, danger. You now have a spot to pull it out. And once you get it in there like that, so you can pull it off, just give it a quick little more heat so you don't cause any damage. There we go. And now just bring it around, around town. And you can see it just kind of folds up like it shows in the picture. Ugh. And then just keep pushing forward while you do this as you bring it around. You can kind of see how that's coming off. And then uh, it will just come right off. Now, before you do the final pull on it, make sure you got the legs orientated correctly. You can see here you got a bump on one side and flat on the other. And you can also see here you got a large size and a small size. So I actually have this backwards. Whoop, there you go. So the front should be the one that goes straight and the back should be the one that curves under for his butt shape and then his crotch shape. So the large side Oops, sorry, I'm out of camera. The large side goes on this side. So you can see how this goes in so far. And this one doesn't go in quite as far. And so the right side gets the side that doesn't go in quite as far. If you guys can see that or not in that part right there. So 
Now for the new loincloth. Let's put this one aside. So the new one, it's just kind of a more of a darker purple instead of blue. So it matches his stripe of his belt instead of his other part. And let's just put this in the hot water. Remember the large side, you can see how easy it is right here. Here's the large one, here's the small one. The large one's gonna go on the right and the small one's gonna go on the left. And you can see this is his butt shape here and this is the front here. And that's just how it goes on there. Um, so let's go and put this in the hot water. Now, you don't want it to drop to the bottom. You have a hard time getting it out of there. So let's just leave it on the screwdriver, put it down there. And because it's soft rubber, it will heat up really fast. All right, let's go and pull it out. I'm going to put the lid back on here to keep it hot. And let's get this on this new guy. Now remember, the big side goes on the right. You just put it over the tabs first, and then you pull it up as far as you can with your hands. And this is always kind of remind me of trying to uh, put on the clothes for those, uh, oh, what were those dolls called? My daughter used to have them. Um, oh, Polly Pockets. They had the rubbery clothes and it was just so hard to get them on there. I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up a little more. And again, it's just kind of a dance between the two. Now, some people will get frustrated and cut it. Don't cut it. It will always have issues if you cut it once once you cut that loincloth. And now you're gonna stretch this up and over, and it's kind of a tricky thing to do. Uh, there we go, I got one side up, and now the other side. <sighs> you can do it. Hey, look at that, almost got it. Almost okay. Now that it's almost on there, it's uh, probably folded underneath. So what happens is this top lip right here rolls under like that and makes it doesn't doesn't fit on the figure correctly. So we got to unroll this. So the way to unroll it is you bring it up and you just take your screwdriver and you push it back out of the way. So let's go ahead and orientate this first. Line it up. I got to heat it up again. Stick it in there for a few seconds to heat it up. There we go. Let's just straighten that right out. There we go. Once it's straightened out, now to fix that problem that we have by pulling it out. And you can see how it's just tucked right under there instead of going up into the spot. And take your screwdriver and try to turn it a little bit to straighten that out so it goes into the crack. And it takes a little bit of finagling to get it just right. Just keep working it around in a circle. I'll look at you guys' questions in a moment. <sighs> so you can kind of see how it has to go up inside there. There we go. And it does take a little bit of work to get that all unfolded and back inside there. This one's still not quite lined up. There we go. Oops. Sorry, I know I'm getting out of camera angle. I apologize for that. It's kind of a pain to try to do this and look at the camera to make sure I'm still in focus or still uh, in frame. It's so close. I get this spot right here. There we go. Then just keep twisting it and lining it up and you can just kind of feel it set in the place. And there we go. Now it is all jammed into that spot. You can see if you kind of pinch it around and look at it, how it has all fit inside that gap. All right. Hooray. Hooray. I'm almost done. All right. So now just a couple things you can do. One is just kind of dip it back in the hot water again to cause anything to shrink that may have been stretched out during your build. And then also toss the legs back in the hot water too. And all you need to do is just do the um, thighs. So just bend the feet so they don't fall in all the way. 
Otherwise, you got to fish them out of there with a, a spoon. There we go. Now, while that's heating up, let's go ahead and do a head swap. Let's see how loose his head is. Uh, not bad. I was afraid it might uh, snap on me. And let's go ahead and take his new head. Now, the new head has a different design. It is the one that uh, um, has the old Mattel style. Sometimes those work, sometimes they don't on Super 7. Hey, it did. Hooray. And let's take a look at some of your questions while we're waiting for this to heat up. Hey, thanks, James. I appreciate that. Yeah, hopefully this will help you guys. <laughs> Pat those pants aren't loose. That's funny. All right, so let's go ahead and put his legs back on now that we have the loincloth switched. And for those that just recently joined, make sure you watch this whole video from the beginning. It will help you figure out how to put these on correctly. Now, notice the bump on the leg goes on the inside. You can also tell by the foot which way it goes. And again, just push this in place. You'll feel its seat once it gets in there. There we go. One on. Oh, now I dropped my leg. Time to pull out the spoon. The spoon of fishiness. Now, this water is not really that hot. And I suggest you guys don't have your water boiling. You can see here, I can actually put my finger in there. It's hot, but it won't burn my finger excessively. That's what the temperature you want it. If you can't put your finger in there for a second, it's way too hot. So that's what we're looking for is to have your water really warm, but not boiling. You don't want to distort the plastic so much that you start to see like oil in the water. If it looks like oils in the water, it means you're destroying the plastic and your water's too hot and it's actually pulling out the oil out of the plastic and it will eventually cause your plastic to become brittle and crack. So make sure your water is not superheated. And if you do use superhe superheated water for some, some builds, make sure you do it very sparingly and, uh, and for a very short amount of time. I have had to use superheated water before for some of the female parts and uh, it can be a pain. Yeah, I've actually found myself burning my fingers before trying to get it sometimes when you're... It took me a long time to figure out the exact temperature of the water to get it just right. Warm enough for the plastic, but not too hot to burn my fingers. Why won't it go together? Oh, well, I'll fight it off camera later on. Basically, it's going to get that lined up, but it's hard to do it through the viewfinder of the, of the camera instead of just doing it myself oh well we'll leave it let's go ahead and check out his glowing eyes so hold on a moment while i turn off my overhead lights lights off hey there we go let me brighten this thing up turn off that light and there are his glowing eyes Brighten those up again. Whoop. There they are. Ooh. They really don't glow that bright. I don't know if it was worth them sending a whole new head. Now it does work with the black light. It glows pretty bright, but once you turn the black light off, there's just not a lot of uh, glowing action going on. All right. Lights on. Let's look at some of your guys' comments now, and then we'll continue on. You know, there's not a lot of toy companies, Matt, that actually does what Super 7 did. I, I often wondered why they did this. Um, one, it's really cool they did it. Don't get me wrong. I, I love the fact they did this. They did it with Triclops, too. They gave us Triclops. And actually, this darker blue does look better. So I am glad I swapped it out. Um, but I wonder if they knew because th oh, um, because the tank's coming. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. So 
I do call foul on their instructions. Their instructions right here are very oversimplified, and I think if you're to follow these directions the way it shows it, you'd probably be very dismayed on trying to actually have it work. Um, it takes a lot more finagling than just turning a screwdriver and popping it off and then putting it back on, which is why I made this video. But since we're here, let's go ahead and finish looking at the cool accessories that are just so cool. So they did give us some cool new guns too. And these are very cool. So we got this right here. Very cool. Look at this right here. Also very cool. And then we have uh, this gun right here. And you guessed it, it's also very cool. All right. So Super 7, thank you for the free parts. That is awesome. Now, I do have some live videos coming up later on. I'll be opening up this figure here. Ooh, ah. And I have a surprise box that I got in the mail that says Fragile that I'll be opening up as well on a live feed. And so we'll check that out. I might do both on the same video. So we'll tune back in for some more live videos later. I just wanted to keep this one just about the fixing of the Thundercats. So there we go. I got to admit, that looks so much better. Thank you, Super 7. The glowing eyes, not a necessity, but uh, the loincloth, awesome. I'm going to actually put the other head back on. I actually like the other one better. <sighs> But it's nice to have options. So thank you so much, Super 7. That is so cool of you guys to uh, send this out to us. And... <laughs> Hebrew stands in defiance of your instructions, Super 7. That's funny. All right, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited for him to come out. Now, I know I already have my custom, but I can't wait for the original one. And, of course, my custom is taller than the other figures, but the Super 7 one's going to rock. I cannot wait to see that one. That's going to be so cool. Anyway, thanks. Uh, like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Share this video with other people that are Thundercats fans so they can see how to do it. And I will talk to you guys next video. Bye now.